we don't want to make a two minute EWO trade in that first uh, right out of the gate entry, right? Because the first one to three minutes could do this, right? Yes. So if that's yes. the case, you typically want to be looking for this second or third candle before you make a move, which means this candle wouldn't even have meant anything to you. Does that make sense? I see. So regardless of what you're looking at in the first, yeah, at the first three minutes, you, right. you're not too dangerous. Yep. So your move would have been the sec the next candle over That's to correct. jump in. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just it's too dangerous, right? Right. And because yeah. this drove way up, right? This could have just immediately been crash and burn city. <clears throat> so I would have definitely been waiting, right? That first uh, you know, it's so basically if you're doing the two minute EWO, it's one to four minutes, right? So well, two to four minutes, because you gotta have some sort of candle formations. And you gotta wait. This the most riskiest part of the day is the opening. So okay. this is where. Uh, real quick though, great question, Hirsch. Real quick. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Spy has broke below support. Do you all see it? Because I told you. And if you're listening again, you have to listen to me. Did anybody draw this trend line and take advantage of that? And then did you down here buy calls on support, which is what I teach you every day. If you did this one thing, it broke the trend line, puts, calls on support. You guys just made an ass load of money. You made money on the way down, and then you made money on the way up. And then right here, I told you also to watch your support and resistance. And what is it on right now? Resistance. So guess what? You watch your ass. This is now a small, very small, but this is a danger zone. You guys, you have to know what you're doing, and you got to listen to me more. I say this stuff every day. I don't just say this, okay, because if you're losing 1% every day because your top, uh, stops are too light or too tight, that means over the next 10 trading days, you're going to gain 10% on your total account <laughs> without even making a penny. Do you understand? I see. I see. Okay. So, so yeah, I can go a, a lot smaller. Yeah. So now if that, that makes, makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah. That means anything you make above zero is all gravy because you're already going to compensate for your 1% loss every single day. So now you can take that 1% that you'll stop losing and everything else is gravy. Rule number one, right? Position size. You didn't follow that. You're revenge trading. Uh, now you're in a mental block. You're not making the trades when we're talking about the trades because you are, you, you are worried about what it's going to do instead of listening to the sound of my voice. You see where all this is going? This is your trading right here. So we got to get you back under control, Matt. Uh, what I would tell you to do is go ahead and take the next one to two weeks off, start listening to everything I'm saying. And then when you come back, instead of being into a 30 K trade, try about a 5k trade. If that's still too much, you're still not able to manage those stops, go down to a 1k trade until you can open up the doors of these stops you have, allow it to work its magic and do what it's supposed to do. Your stops are so tight that every little micro pullback, you're not, it's not happening. Make sense? And stop yes, trading these really hard stocks. No Nvidia for you, no SPY, no Tesla. These are the hardest stocks to trade. What does shaking represent, everybody? He's in too big. Fear. Yeah, these are mental. Fear. Yeah, these are mental nervousness. things. Right? Yeah, this is nervousness. Almost. Yeah, this is position size. Yeah, this is all created, partner, from position size. It this, the thing is moving too fast. You're way out of your element. I tell you guys all the time. If you don't, if it doesn't feel robotic, you're in a way over your head. Don't I say that every day, everybody? Yeah. If it's not robotic, you're in way over your head. And we've probably yeah. all been there. Yeah, there should be no emotions at all. It should be trade, trade, up, down. Well, that one was good. That one was bad. This, these next four, those were awesome. This one was bad. This one was not. It, it should not be sweaty palms and my, my back sweating. And you're in way over your head. That's all too much stuff.